Let us talk about locating percentile under the normal curve. In this lesson, we're going to locate the z-value of a certain percentile under the normal curve. Let us have this example number one. Find the 95th percentile of the normal curve. So the 95th percentile is the value at which 5% of the answers lie above that value and 95% of the answers lie below that value. So the question is, what is that value? So that is the z-score that we are going to locate. So are we going to do that? So we have the following steps. One, write the 5% in decimal. So 5% in decimal, that is 0 0.05. Now we know that half of the distribution is 0 0.5. So to find the area of the 5%, we're just going to subtract 0 0.05 from 0 0.50. So that is 0 0.45. Next step is to find the z-score of an area 0.45 in the standard normal table, and that is between 0.4495 and 0.4505. So the z-score of 0.4495 is 1.64, and the z-score of 0.4505 is 1.65. So which of these two z-values is the 95th percentile of the distribution. We need to find which of these two areas is closest to 0 0.045. So are we going to do that? We're going to subtract 0 0.45 from 0 0.4495 is 0 0.4505. So that is 0 0.45 minus 0 0.4495 is equal to 0 0.0005. Is 0 0.4505 minus 0 0.45 is equal to 0 0.0005. Since the difference is the same, what we're going to do is we're going to find the mean of, of 1.64 and 1.65. So that is 1.64 plus 1.65 over 2 is equal to 1.645. So therefore, the z-score of the 90th percentile is 1.645, meaning 95% of the answers lie below 1.645. Now let's have this example number two. Find the upper 10% of the distribution. So again, draw the normal curve. So suppose this is 90% and this is the 10%. So the same process, what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite 10% in decimal. So that is 0 0.10. Next, we know that half of the distribution is 0 0.5. So to find the area of, of 0 0.10, what we're going to do is we're going to subtract 0 0.10 from 0 0.5. And the difference is 0 0.40. Now, next is we need to find the z-score of an area 0 0.40 in the standard normal table. And 0 0.40, that is between 0 0.3997 and 0 0.4015. Now, the z-score of 0 0.3997 is 1.28. And the z-score of 0 0.4015 is 1.29. Now, the question is, which of these two z-scores is the upper 10% of the distribution? So again, we're going to find the difference between the areas. That is 0.40 minus 0.397 and 0.40 minus 0.4015. So 0.40 minus 0 0.397, that is 0 0.0003. And 0 0.4015 minus 0.40 is equal to 0 0.015. So the z-score with the closest area to 0 0.40 is the z-value of the upper 10% of the distribution. Now, 0 0.003 is smaller than 0 0.0015, and 0 0.003 is the difference between 0 0.40 and 0 0.3997. So therefore, the Z value of the upper 10% of the distribution is Z equals 1.28. So meaning 10% of the answers lie above Z equals 1.28. Now, let's have this example number three. Find the z-score of the middle 95th percentile of the normal curve. So we are asked about the middle 95%. So meaning that this middle 95% that is between two z-scores. That is one is negative and the other one is positive. Now, this is the middle 95% of the distribution. There is still 5% left before for it to become 100%. So 5%, we're going to divide it by 2 for the two ends of the distribution. So 5% divided by 2, that is 2.5%. Now, both ends of the distribution is 2.5%. Now, same process. So same, we need to...
to rewrite 2.5 in decimal, so that is 0 0.0025, and half of the distribution is 0 0.5. So we need to subtract 0 0.025 from 0 0.5, and the difference is equal to 0 0.475. Now, next is we need to find the Z score of an area 0 0.475 in the standard normal table, and we have an exact value of that in the standard normal table, which is 0 0.475. 4750 and the z-score of 0.750 is 1.96 so therefore the z-scores of the 95th percentile is positive negative 1.96 so the z-score at the left is negative 1.96 and the z-score at the right is positive 1.96 so meaning the middle 95 percent of the distribution is between negative 1.96 and positive 1.96 thank you